Welcome back to the channel guys, MC333. As I type into the energy of Gemini, if your sun, moon, ascendant, progressed is in Gemini, this reading is for you. Make sure you hit that notifications bell. We do this every week. Uh, Gemini readings every Wednesday with daily uploads. So make sure you check your sun, moon, ascendant to know what's happening in your life to get a more holistic picture, right? That way you can do a little bit more due diligence on what's going on in your current circumstances, situation and some advice to move forward. Here we don't just here we don't just give out uh you know not just tarot but we like to motivate we like to inspire we like to provide courage in order for you to move forward as the tarot is a spiritual tool to maintain our progress in life right here we should we do traditional horseshoe spreads to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of information on your current circumstances situation gemini I hope all my Geminis out there are doing well. I hope all my Geminis are doing well. I think you are doing well. Right. <laughs> How's it been going for you? Comment down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from, by the way. And if you'd like to learn anything new and anything more about the channel, um, just hit the description box below, and you'll find the first link. And I think that'll be... Gemini, show me Gemini, show me Gemini. Um, yes. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, and share. With whom it may be necessary. For all my returning viewers, I thank you for returning. Figure out the energy of Gemini. Figure out the current circumstance, uh, current circumstance situation, Gemini. That you're dealing with right now at the moment, how to move forward, how to progress, or maybe blocking you, things that I'm sure other people's perspectives, the outcomes, right? Of this situation, show me Gemini. Show me Gemini. We are using one of our thought decks here that we have. We like to use for these spreads. Let's get into it, Gemini. Let's see what the current situation, the current circumstances. Let's see what you're dealing with. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Seven of Discs. The Four of Swords. Six of Swords. Hmm. Got that air energy, Gemini. Got the Ten of Cups. You got the Nine of Discs. Eight of Swords. Okay. So, off the top, Gemini, I hope you guys are doing well. We have a lot of air here. We have a lot of swords energy here. You know, when I started this reading, I did sense, could sense a little bit of tension here and there. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Empress, which was prominent in our Virgo reading. You could be connected with Virgo. You may want to watch a Virgo, um, maybe dealing with a Virgo. Right? Um, there may be a family that you're giving birth to. Could be a child in the picture. For some of you guys, Gemini, um, this could be the start of a family. Yeah. And this could be what's going on within that circumstance situation. That's for some of you guys. This is also tapping into creativity, something, um, something that you're in within a creative uh, endeavor, right? Um, before I get into the cards right here and the breakdowns, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna pull a mystery card from our. Uh, right away, traditional tarot for you guys. And we're gonna see what's going on here. 
Show me Gemini, show me Gemini. And our mystery card is going to give us some confirmation at the end to kind of tie uh, tie the reading together. So make sure you stay tuned. To show me Gemini, show me Gemini. What's this mystery card, Gemini? Show me confirmation. Sorry, guys, virtual predecessors. Show me confirmation. card right there we're gonna put that right off to the side ski right after the side ski wow look at this dude at the bottom of the deck the empress too we got two empresses this is definitely a, a significant underlining story um absolutely insane <laughs> someone commented MC tapped in um so there could be a family here Virgo. this could be some and there's a lot of source so this could be some news of a family um news of a new birth um right for some of you guys, Gemini, I feel like this, you know, Gemini is that unified energy, uh, that one plus one, three, right? So I feel like that could be, you could be giving birth to a new energy right now. Um, giving birth to a new energy, a new creative project, uh, a family, you know, a kid, a child. Um, I'm getting handy dandy Himalayan salt, and I'm going to put her right on this mystery card for divine protection of this situation. Um... Yes, so this could be a family for some I'm getting. This could be a new child. This could be you just receiving information of a new child because we do have some, uh, possibly some 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 news here that could be clouding your mind or like some blockages. And it could, not even that, but it could, could be significant news. Right? A lot of the swords energy um, could be some arguments going on as well that you may need to start tapping into more of your divine feminine. Um, you know, instead of arguing and putting out a lot of that masculine energy, is starting to receive and understand other perspectives of other people. Before we get into the cards, it's just something I want to say for you guys as a spiritual lesson that may need to be undergone, just because I see a lot of swords energy here. I'm not talking about the position of the cards, but we will be getting into that right now. So, Gemini, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Position one, within the past, Ace of Wands. Huh. Hmm. Okay. A lot of fire energy. So there's a lot of movement, Gemini. Um, right, because this, this energy seems a little bit different than our last Gemini reading. If you, if you, if you haven't seen our last Gemini reading, go, go, go watch our last Gemini reading. Um, this could, this could differ for a certain group of Geminis, right, etc. Because we all on a different matter scale as a spirit, you know, as spiritual beings. So certain individuals can be in one space and other individuals can be in another space as a spirit. So, you know, we all go through things differently at different times, different moments of life. We all deal with different circumstances and situations. So as we do these readings, it can be tapped in as they're all collective, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of Geminis in the collective, like there's a lot of all signs in the collective. So, you know, this, this, this can be a significant thing for a certain group of Geminis, right? Um, but as I always say, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is not just a business and career reading. This is not just a love and relationship reading. This is a life reading. So apply where necessary. I appreciate you guys. Comment down below as well. Let me know you're tuning in from. Before we get into this, I just want to say, um, if you made it this far, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Hit the description button. And um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more of what we do, first link in bio. Anyways, moving forward. Ace of Wands, something that you've you dealt with in the past. You've moved forward towards something for yourself in the past. And I think... I think you may be letting go of moving forward for yourself. That That's why I'm feeling like this family, this Empress energy could very much be significant for some of you guys. Like, you're no longer moving forward by yourself. I think that's why this is in the past. Like, you can't move by yourself anymore. Right? I'm just feeling that. Whether it's, I don't know, you stepping into a new family, you 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 moving with, I don't know, partners or partnership, business, relationships, right? moving is unity in a team right um but i feel like you can't do things by yourself anymore so you kind of you kind of you kind of let go of this maybe you've been doing too much by yourself and you realize damn i can't do all that by myself right i'm feeling with this so something like you you've kind of let go of this self-identity of moving doing things by yourself or doing things alone right let's get into this present card here because this present card is the seven of this this is a failure card um, and I think 
that's why like I'm, I'm getting just off top right now real quick i think that's why you put this in the past i think that's why you've put this moving forward by yourself in the past i think you've realized that you can't do all this by yourself there's too much there's too much stuff going on there's my language sorry <laughs> too much stuff going on here guys um right and i think like you got too much shit and you know this was like man i can't do this by myself you had to make you had to create a team and it the last reading i'm pretty sure had something to do with a team or some sort of unity right business partnerships etc and i think that's what you're realizing here like some of you guys are starting to realize you can't do this all by yourself you may have you may have too much things going on within your foundation and your status to do by yourself and i think that's what you realize and i think that's why you may be seeing this failure or letdown within what you got going on because you're, you you can't balance it all you got to cut some of these things out right some of these jobs out, some of these circumstances and situations out, right? We don't see any, but we do see some water. Maybe these are relationships that I think you need to start analyzing and be more practical towards right now and realizing, all right, what fulfills you, what doesn't fulfill you? Because we do have the Ten of Cups here within the uh, fifth position, which is other perspectives. So I think the, I think, I think that can be significant for you guys. Um, but this is a sense of status right and i think you're realizing that all these statuses don't work for you like you got to pick one or one status right or, or like what brings you the most fulfillment here and i think you're realizing that right now and that's why you may feel some of this let down energy i'm not going to say failure it takes failure to succeed all the most successful people in the world has failed multiple 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 of times so um it takes failure to succeed it takes failure to learn you got to learn from your failures make sure you are learning from your failures what brought you to this failure what brought you to this letdown was it moving by yourself maybe it was and i think it's time for you to find a team it's time for you to find a soul tribe it's time for you to find people business relationships that that can that you can do some of these things with that you can talk with that you can maneuver with right i think you're realizing that now because that's what's going to help your status here with that saturn energy right because position three four of swords truce hidden obstacles you could be in connection with a libra as well you can be in connection with a taurus maybe a virgo see some virgo energy you see some gemini energy as the outcome card hmm. you see some pisces here okay but also for some of you guys july 4th july 6th july 10th july 9th july 8th right july 7th some of you gemini's out there but i'm getting into this underlining story is truce i think I think yes, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting. All right, Gemini, I'm getting this thing that you've let go, this idea of moving forward by yourself. You've let go because you found truce within other people's perspectives, the way other people may have been seeing things. So you're kind of unifying with them. And I think this, I think you realizing that you can't do this all by yourself is putting you in the space and perspective to see others point of views and see how other people think about certain things towards certain ideas and maybe towards this status or practicality what you got going on right so for example for some people in a business situation right let's say you had all these responsibilities within your job or you had all these things to maintain and you couldn't do it by yourself or maybe you had maybe you had a partner or something like that that you realize you can shit that wasn't your partner so you have to do much by yourself and i think you may be coming to truce or coming to grips with that partner right now or with these people that you may have been working with that may have different perspectives with you you could have thought they had different perspectives from you before which is why you're moving alone but i think you're seeing their perspectives and it could be in course with a libra as well having conversations to kind of get an under understanding towards each other um because you've noticed this failure like you've noticed you've seen the outcome of certain things by moving by yourself so you're coming to grips with the you know possible people places and things in your life maybe even your own ideas and your own thought forms like okay now it's like not being so hard on yourself for other people sometimes too so for some people it's like all right you can't you know not to be so hard on yourself now mentally you know um all right 
it's time for my mindset to shift because I can't do this all alone. So you're now seeing other perspectives within yourself, why it's it, it may be too difficult or why it's um, maybe too overbearing or too overwhelming to do this thing by yourself, to do these things by yourself, right? So you're coming to grips with your own mind, shifting your mindset, being able to shift your mindset, and also coming to grips with possibly other external people and you know individuals, mindsets, mentalities, and 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 finding that unity in understanding in how you know the beauty in perspective and why other people see the things the way they see. You're expanding your mind right now because of this situation, because of this self. Because of this letdown you may be seeing, right? Like something hasn't been as prosperous as you wanted it to be. So you're kind of seeing other perspectives, maybe having conversations with certain people and how to work with, you know, uh, getting advice and, um, you know, here and there and um, certain conversations needing to be had, right? Having certain conversations that allow you to understand, you know, what you've been doing on it. And that kind of expands your mind because you have that Jupiter energy. So it's tapping into the abundance of self and learning that it is okay to shift perspectives, right? It's allowing this mutability to come forth. Because right here, obstacles to overcome in position four are very interesting. It's the six of, uh, six of swords. So I think this is like, being, uh, I, think this is, I think this is overcoming your own mind and your own perspective. Like you've seen things your way for a while now and I think, especially with this ace, you've been seeing things your way for a while. You've had your mind, you had your you had your mind on 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 a way of doing things for a while, right? And I think that's what is needing to overcome because of this truths and this other perspectives, or our hidden influence. Sorry, because other perspectives is here, because this hidden influence. I think, I think you're understanding that you need to overcome your own mind, and you're overcoming what you pay attention to. Right. Like you could have been paying attention to the wrong things within your status and within your foundation, within your relationship. Right. And I think you're paying attention to new things now, something that can bring you more harmony, like because you, you because of this shift in perspective, because of this shift in thoughts. Right. Mind frame. So because of that. You're overcoming your own mind, like, all right. You know, he or she's right or no, that's right. Or maybe I do have to shift that way. Right could be going under them and uh you know going under these some of these thought forms right now going down some of those trains of thoughts and it's overcoming your own way of thinking up towards certain things your own way of communicating towards certain things your communication could be different right now could be communicating differently something that's more 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 prosperous towards you because the six is harmony right the six does deal with what you're paying attention to and i think for a while you've been paying attention to your ways of thinking your ways of mindset but I think that's what needs to. Be, I think that's what's causing like what may need to be adjusted right now, and what need to be what may need to be overcame, right? You got your sign, ruling planet Mercury there showing up, because other perspectives here with the Ten of Cups, Satan T, right? This Ten of Cups, I think other perspectives. I think the external energy is a lot of opportunity. I feel like you're complete with an opportunity. Like there isn't anything else. Maybe that, mm, maybe too much opportunity. Like there's there's too many things that you may be focused on or maybe emotionally connected to or maybe that you're paying attention to that you have your mind on that is taking away from your own cup right this can involve a pisces as well you could feel like there's a pisces in your life maybe someone in your life that you know is the whole the whole picture the whole opportunity right for some of you guys the whole package I'm getting, that 10 completion energy. That fills your cup in many different ways, right? If this is relating to love for you. But I think besides that, if you're dealing with other people, other business partners, etc., I think they know that you have you that you're that you're able to create opportunities, right? not just for yourself, but for others. This is a lot of opportunity here. I think that you have a deep sense of connection to the spirit realm for some of you guys here. And they may see this from you. Um, right, I think that they know, and the external energy is that you know, there's an influence of, as the Horn of Confirmation blows, I think, I think there's an influence of you following your dreams, right? You are following your dreams right now. There's a flow going on. I think 
others may see this for you, that you want to follow your dreams. That can be why this shift of perspective needs to be here, because you can't do this all by yourself, right? There is a sense of completion here. See others' perspectives. Hmm. I'll look into this for you. I think others may see opportunity in you, right? Working with you in unity, finding this truth. They see opportunity for them to move forward and them to build their dreams. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's why this truce is going on right now. That's why these conversations and shifts are going on. Because I believe that they see opportunity within you. I believe that you you are this ace energy. Like, Because they see you've done it alone for a while, maybe. I think they know that them unifying with you, you're still going to keep going regardless. You have this passion regardless. Is that Mars I've seen up here? Yes. You've had that passion and motivation regardless if you're alone or with others. And I think that's the building block here. I think they see that with you. So I think they want to work with you in terms of that. Also, on the side note, because of that, be mindful who you're working with. That's for some of you Geminis. Some people ain't always your friends. Some people may just see opportunity within you. They see strength within you. And they may want to work with you. All energy ain't good energy. All things ain't good things. All people ain't good people. But you can make that own. You can make your own decision and own adjustment based upon that, right? That's for some Geminis out there. Okay. So, use your intuition and uh due diligence there but the best path for you to walk down is the nine of discs this is virgo energy you could be connected with a virgo by the chance you know um but there's gain here there's gain here and i think you're you know I, for you i feel like the best path to walk because this is in position six the best path for you to walk one remain in balance Two, Venus at the top, have love for yourself, have love for what you do. Make sure what you do is what you love because that's going to cause this expansion. Nine, right? Jupiter, abundance, experience, meaning, and reasoning. Write that down if you can because that's the path for you to take and that's going to allow you to gain more within your status, more within your foundation, more within yourself, more fulfillment, right? Right. So that's 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 off top of what I want to say about this card. Clear, clear message right there. Very, very clear. The Elkham card. Eight of Swords. This is a Gemini, it's your energy. This is a Jupiter expansion. So this has this 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 deals with some of this nine as well. And I think because you see traditionally I would say with this Eight of Swords, there could be a lot of mental chatter. There could be a lot of analyzation. But because it's in, is this, in, you know, a lot of, um, um, men, you know, like, mm, a lot of conversation could be had right now, a lot of analyzation. Um, maybe overthinking, like not being able to sleep, not being able to rest for some of you guys. But because this is in the outcome card and this is the best path for you to walk, I feel, and this is your energy interference. I think, I feel that this nine of discs, this gain, and going towards what you love with this Venus energy, right? Remaining in harmony, staying grounded. Find what you love. What's the best for your status? What are you most passionate about? What allows you to, what, what, what do you like to communicate the most, right? All these energies on here are significant. What do you like to communicate the most? What, what brings you the most emotional fulfillment? And what allows you to deal with relationships in the most harmonious manner? Ask yourself those questions and you'll know the path to walk down. Guaranteed. You'll know what you'll know what it is that you you want to do and to move forward, right? And I think once you know, it's a it's a change. I think you're gonna realize that you've got to change something here. So you're I think you're the one interfering, your status, especially with this ace energy. I think it's you that's changing because of this expansion, Jupiter as well, and it comes from here. Because you walk down this path, I think you're analyzing and interfering with your own status to make your own changes 
we're an SB, so you're, you're, you're analyzing, you're having different conversations, you're at the round table, you're discussing with yourself or others to see, all right, how can I expand here? What are the ways I expand? And you're gonna spend a lot of time in this, interfering with your status and making adjustments that are needed right now. Major adjustments are ahead. Major adjustments lie ahead. Gemini. And this is good because we need to think about things, things sometimes. We need to spend time evaluating sometimes. This is not a worrisome energy. I feel like you're you, I feel like you are the one doing this. So because you know that and because you know this gain is here, I think it's important for you to analyze and, and iterate and reorganize and um, adjust certain things because now you know what really is gonna bring you this fulfillment and status, this gain, this abundance, this experience with meaning and reasoning. So you're making adjustments right now. You will be making adjustments. So just you know, walk down this path. This is a very good reading for you. Take some notes here, Gemini. Let's get this mystery card and get this, let's find out this confirmation. I think this is gonna tie everything together pretty well. I see fire, I see water, I see air. I see earth, fire, water, air, earth. There's, ba there's balance, you're looking, you're balancing something right now, for, uh, Gemini. You're really coming into a nuance of balance and you're looking to stabilize things in all ways, shapes and forms. You're giving some of that fire, you're giving some of that earth, you're giving some of that air, you're giving some of that water. Mm, okay, what I would like to see is a major arcana. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like that can be significant. We didn't see any majors here, but we do see a well balance of the elements. Hmm. Hmm. Perspective shift, maybe a hangman. Going towards something new. No fear, maybe the fool. Maybe the magician here. Ooh, maybe the magician here. We have all the elements. Maybe the magician here. We did have the Empress underlining story as well. All right, let's see, let's see. Comment down below, let me th let me know what you think this is. Thank you, Andy Dana, Hamilaya, so I'm Oh, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Another major recall that guys recall this. Someone comment, someone comment MC tapped in, please. Uh, justice, justice, justice. You have the sword, the sword is in your hand. You're bringing balance. Yes, yes, yes. See, you are the one that's going to be the one with this interference because the sword is in your hand. This may be you and someone else based upon this truce. I think you came into truce with someone and now you're going to work together. But is you overcoming, knowing how, is you overcoming working for yourself or working by yourself for some, like this is a scenario, business scenario, for example. It's like overcoming you working by yourself to work with someone else coming into a truce. This may be someone in the past that you may had maybe follow to it, but you now come back into truce. You now see each other's perspectives. And because of this, you're going towards what fulfills you, what, you know, based upon those things I just said, Mercury communication, emotional fulfillment, um, status with Saturn, Mars with passion. And I think you're the one making, I think you two will be making this adjustments and you're creating this balance. You could be dealing with a Libra here. You could be dealing with a Libra here. And you're balancing, you guys are balancing this status, this, this, this nine of discs, this gain. All right, where do I need to bring this balance in for this expansion, right? Yes, that's our confirmation card. That tied in really nicely. That's exactly what we wanted to see here. Another major, I had a feeling it would be a major because you right now are alchemizing the heck out of your situation. We have all the elements here. Gemini. And I think it's you and someone coming into you, you and someone coming into unity to bring the balance. All right, who needs to do what here? What position needs to be here? All right, you think that way? All right, I think this way? All right, cool. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's do a little bit of this. That's going to allow us to keep fulfilling, right? Like y'all, y'all going to be really diplomatic. Y'all going to have the conversations needed, really balanced. And I think you're looking to balance a lot of stuff right now because I see a lot of balance. We have all the elements here. You're balancing your relationships. You're balancing your finances. You're balancing your status. You're balancing your career right balancing your home life right yes 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 really nice they were really nice i like that for you the ultimate balance <laughs> beautiful beautiful gemini thank you for tuning in with me today as we close out this reading i want to let you know 
that you, my viewers, are the most important part of this channel. I want to thank you for tuning into this reading today. Hit the notification bell. Come back every Wednesday. We do Gemini readings every Wednesday for you. Daily uploads as well. Make sure you check in your sun, moon, ascendant to get a holistic picture on what's going on right now in your current circumstance situation. Hit that notification bell. Like, comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know if this resonated as well. The ultimate balance is amongst you. And I think you're ready for this, Gemini. I think you're ready for this, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. It's MC333. I hope this helps. I hope this brought some clarity. Keep it going, blow my hand, you know I'm stay flowing Keep it going cause you know I'm flowing to the top down And you know it's MC, stay with the post Shit, shitty past man, gotta forget about that And we all have a story, so I'm never looking back And I remember coming through my first candy go bang Little baby, you was there too, do you remember that? And then we flowing to the top Even though I know it's hard and lonely But you know I never stopped And it was back in the day, me and JJ's came to the street